Hi, my name is Manish Gupta, and in this video, I'm going to talk about multimodal chain of thought. So what is multimodal chain of thought? Right? So multimodal chain of thought is a method where the input is multimodal in nature, and you still want chain of thought reasoning, so as to do question answering on this multimodal input. Here is an example. So if the input contains language and vision components, where there is a question, which property do these two objects have in common? And then you have a context, select the best answer, and then there are two options, soft and salty. And then there is also vision part to the input where you have this cracker and uh, fries as, as the two inputs, right? So the expected output is as follows. First, you should generate a rationale, uh, you know, look, look at each object for each object, decide if, that, if it has that property and so on. And then you finally generate the answer saying that, hey, uh, the right answer is salty. Now, um, uh, a typically chain of thought has been studied uh, from a text perspective rather than also including image in it. People have actually studied chain of thought as a way of generating very accurate answers by prompting the models so as to first think step by step, uh, generate reasoning steps, and then finally come up with the answer. So that's typically called a zero-shot COT where you do not supply any exemplars as part of the input prompt. But uh, you sometimes you can also supply exemplars as part of the prompt, and then that's called as few short COT. So uh, there have been so many in-context learning kind of methods which have typically been been built on GPT 3.5, but some of them have also been experimenting with Palm and Codex kind of models. However, none of them are multimodal in nature. Some of them, in fact, try uh, to come up with better results uh, using COT by improving the kind of exemplars that have been selected, like least to most prompting. Some of them also try to automatically select exemplars like auto COT or complexity COT, which also try to come up with better exemplars. Right? Some of them have also tried to improve on the overall chain of uh, the, the reasoning steps, overall reasoning steps, and therefore have come up with the uh, methods like program of thoughts. Right? Um, and of course, there is also tree of thoughts and so on. However, most of them are not multimodal and they deal with in-context learning over really large models. Now, can you actually do the same kind of chain of thought prompting uh, for multimodal scenarios and that too with much smaller models, right? Rather than 100 billion kind of 100 billion parameter kind of models. And that is where this work fits in about multimodal COT. In this work, the authors essentially take these multimodal use cases where there is an input, a vision and language component, and then their method works in two stages. The first stage generates the rationale and the second stage does in answer inference. So, uh, and the two are done using a simple small model like the T5 model. Right? So essentially you take the vision input, the language input, which basically consists of question context options and feed it to a T5 model so as to generate a rationale. Right? And then once this rationale is generated, you append the rationale to the original set of inputs and, uh, you know, original set of inputs, and then you uh, use another T5 model, um, you know, to generate the final answer. Now, the way this is done is um, essentially you take the language uh, uh, language inputs, pass them through a, a language encoder, which is a transformer based model. And then you essentially, uh, you know, specifically in this particular work, they essentially use the unified QA uh, T5 model. It's basically a T5 architecture with some variations. So they use a unified QA, QA T5 architectures as the language encoder. For vision, uh, so when you have these vision inputs, you pass them through vision extractor. Uh, you know, you could basically use several different extractors, but in their case, they use the DETR extractor. Right? Uh, they use the patch representation. So for every patch, you get a representation and you use that as, as a representation for different patches in the image. Right. You, of course, have a projection layer so as to essentially project it to the same size as your language encodings. Um, once you have these language representations and vision representations, you do a single layer of self-attention on top of it. So as you see here, attention be, is being applied. So you do QK, QK transpose and then you know, you actually multiply by the value part uh, so as to get the attended output, right? And then you also have, uh, uh, you know, one layer of getting being applied. So essentially you have the language part and then you have the attended vision part. Uh, you, uh, of course, you combine them with the appropriate uh, uh, weight matrices. Uh, and then essentially you take the language part and you sort of have a, a getting parameter lambda, which decides how much importance to give to the attended vision part, right? So that is how multimodal COT operates. Um, it basically just divides the overall chain of thought process into two parts, the rationale generation and the answer inference, two different stages. 
which are both done using simple models, uh, you know, 1 billion uh, uh, models which have less than 1 billion parameters. So how does multimodal COT perform on science QA data set? Science QA is a multimodal science question answering data set that has annotated answers as well as detailed explanations. So the chain of thought is also actually annotated in the data set. It contains several question classes and the results here are shown for some of those question classes. NAT is natural science questions, SOC is social science questions, LAN is language science questions, TXT is text context context only questions, IMG is basically image based questions, NO is no context questions, you know, then there are questions which cater to different age groups like grades 1 to 6 or grades 7 to 12. Now what you see here are the main results. You know, you basically see that, uh, uh, well, the comparisons are shown across several blocks. So there is uh, human uh, results, you know, human baseline. Then there is typical VQA, visual question answering baselines. Then there is unified QA baseline, GPT 3.5 baseline, and then their multimodal COT model, which basically uses T5 as the base, right? So what you observe is that across all of these results, uh, of course, you know, this is just 738 million parameter compared to if you look at GPT 3.5, 175 billion parameter, right? Insanely larger models. Right, uh, multimodal COT still gives you very, really good results, 91.68. But that's not, uh, you know, uh, the only thing. Uh, the way that they arrived at multimodal COT is by actually trying out simpler methods first. So they basically said, okay, let's just try a very simple, you know, text-based method. Forget about the image part completely, right? And not even do chain of thought prompting. So if you just took the question, context, and multiple options and tried to generate the answer, you would get that kind of accuracy, 80.4. Hmm, not bad, right? Compared to several visual question answering um, options, you know, this is not bad and, and accuracy at all. And this uses unified QA, yeah? Uh, but then, you know, maybe you could actually do this in two steps. So just uh, ask for reasoning as well and uh, or basically generate the reason, the rationale as an explanation to the answer. And they observed that the accuracy dropped, right? So that is why they said, okay, maybe we should move to a two-stage framework. And then in a two-stage framework, maybe we could basically leverage uh, you know, uh, first, first, just try with text. And if they tried with text, they basically got a very good rational accuracy. But then overall answer generation accuracy was very poor. So this is question, this is context, this is multiple options of the answer, right? And then this is the rationale, and then the final answer. So the final answer accuracy was not that great. And then they said, hey, let's use images. So you could use images in two ways. You could use captions or vision features as extracted from various vision models. So that this is where they observed magic. They basically observe that captions don't help, but vision features give you really good results. And that is how you know they were able to design this two-stage framework of multimodal COT. Now that's results using base model. When you actually use a large model, these 84.91 accuracy basically becomes 91.68, which is what is the best one that you see here. However, these all use unified QA as the basic model. Now, if you change the base LLM to flan T5 model, which has the same number, uh, almost the same number of parameters, right? Less than 1 billion parameters, you actually get into the realm of 93.02% accuracy, which is so awesome. Okay. Um, of course, you know, uh, all of these experiments use DETR model uh, for as the image extractor, but they also experimented with other image extraction models like Clip and ResNet, but they observed the best accuracy using the DETR model. So overall, their model really performs very well. And in fact, it's a state of the art for multimodal chain of thought, multimodal question answering using chain of thought. However, not always chain of thought helps. Sometimes, you know, even if you get correct answers, 10% of the times it turns out that the uh, chain of thought was incorrect. In fact, sometimes when you get incorrect answers, you know, most of the times the chain of thought has common sense mistakes, sometimes logical mistakes, and sometimes chain of thought is correct, but the overall answer went wrong. In summary, in this video, I talked about multimodal COT model, which incorporates language and vision modalities into a two-stage framework that separates rational generation and answer inference. Multimodal COT has been shown to outperform GPT 3.5 model by 16.51% on science QA data set, although multimodal COT large model is just around 800 million parameters, while GPT 3.5 is 171, means 175 billion parameters. Hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching. Connect with me on my LinkedIn or look at my research on my homepage. Thank you.